Welcome to the hood, where you must do everything in your power to get your turf. Even it means fighting Nazis, super mutants, or even robots. You gotta get your turf. Well, but actually, there is no turf. You just beat everyone up for no reason, like in the streets. But anyways, let's get started with the interview. When you first join the hood, you'll probably get beat up by some random people, sometimes even the cops, and without any apparent reason. And the goals presented aren't really clear or what is the overall objective of the game or how to play. All the information is in the game's description, but some people may miss out and it would have been nice if some of this information was in the game too. The game does a bad job at informing players in general, such as oh, insufficient funds, invalid requirements to be a cop, how much strength you have in general, etc. And the GUI in the game is TRASH! There were so many large default white or green and red text boxes, and it's so disorganized with everything in illogical orders. Nothing really looks good besides your money balance and the dev products. The game itself doesn't like it at all, I mean it shouldn't at all, as it doesn't have much to run. The scripting in the game is pretty below average, with all the purchasables being a click a button base and all the citizen based jobs are click based as well, with very simple tasks, and the jobs are really boring. The combat system in the game feels extremely sluggish and retarded. You can charge up any melee based weapon to do a charge up attack to do extra damage, which usually results in one shotting people at a cost of being frozen for like a second or two. The ranged weapons in the game are usable and they are powerful, but all of them have annoying delays when you pull the trigger and usually have terrible accuracy. Now I know this is not probably due to the lag in the game and this is probably an intentional flaw for the ranged weapons so people don't you know, go running down the street and shooting up the entire street because they are powerful, but it has the same issue with the combat system. It just makes it feel very retarded and sluggish to use. Even the grenades and the RPGs and the weapons are slow and inaccurate, causing you to blow yourself up half of the time when used, or missing half of your, half of your shots. There's really no unique scripted element in the game, besides the phones, which is probably the best part of the game, and the game passes associated with it just makes it incredibly enjoyable to use, especially with the ringtone customization, and adding the anonymous mode to it. There's no bugs in the game, besides a couple of phone calling bugs, but those bugs are really minor and it refix itself by just re-equipping the phone. The environment fits with the game well, it's the hood, so it's going to take place in the hood. It got graffiti everywhere and lots of random barrels and dirt and, and all that, it, it just fits. The only out of character place is the phone in the Apple store in the random hospital with that weird job where you have to give bottles to patients. The environment is pretty medium sized, it's not too big or too small for the game. And there's plenty of collectibles and cash registers to rob in the game to earn money. It complements the gameplay well and, and it's enjoyable to explore, especially when you find the super system and it's not that hard on the CPU. However, the creators are allowing players to be a little bit too creative. And what I mean is that um, you will see random Nazi members in the hood, you see freaking Arthro robots and all that weird stuff. They should probably tone that down a bit. It'll be cooler if they just yeah, disable, like you know, that. people having their own Roblox characters in general and had like a whole hood style customization. There is a system in place where you can purchase in-game currency with your Robux, and you need money to purchase weapons in the game, including extremely powerful weapons such as an RPG. You can earn money by doing poorly made jobs, robbing cash registers, or arresting people as a cop, which is probably the best way to earn money in the game, but you really don't earn money that fast. The majority of the weapons aren't too expensive besides the explosives, and none of them do save. Essentially, the game is pay to win by definition. You won't have an advantage over others by having money, and you purchase that money with the Robux, but it's not too invasive at all. It generally scams the buyers. Sure, you can drop 10,000 Robux into the game and get money easily, but you'll most likely be purchasing everything everyone else gets frequently, or you will waste the majority of it trying to horribly nuke the game with RPGs and grenades and just blow yourself up half the time. And doing so doesn't really earn you money. You're going to die anyways because if you're going to be nuking the town, Everybody's gonna try to beat you up. You can purchase food in the game to increase your health, but consumables in the game are like one of the cheapest items in the game, and everyone can buy them with no problem. Progression in the game is generally fair and acceptable. The biggest complaint is with the weights though. The game does a bad job at informing you if you're gaining strength. Oh, wow. And according to some people, it takes seven hours with auto clicker what? just to get noticeably bigger. The hell? Seven hours of clicking straight in a row? That's kind of ridiculous. 
It wouldn't be as bad if you could see your progression or if exercising was an interesting mechanic. But no, spam click your mouse, sir. As far as I'm aware, there are no rules in the game besides cops stomping out people when they're supposed to arrest people. And when they do that, they get fired. Additional restrictions should be set though, such as adding wanted levels to people who assault police officers and what? make police officers lose respect if they re attack the innocent and, you know, if they lose too much respect value. Also, you should restrict the time it takes for someone to lock a door when it's pick lock, because that is super annoying when you just pick lock a door and then someone just locks it immediately. Also, fixing the hitboxes will make the game more fair and, you know, prevent people from attacking you when you're facing away from them. You know? The game is fun to play. It's not to be taken too seriously, and it is a very casual game to play with yourself and with friends. You can be a cop, work at a really boring job, or be a random criminal and rob cash registers at different locations. And no, there was nothing inside the bank's vault. Bro. There was really no in-game goal to the game, unless you count the maximum time it takes to maximize your muscles. Then that would take seven hours, but it's not really confirmed. It could take a lot longer than usual. <laughs> So overall, I rate this game a 3 out of 10, barely making it above a 2 out of 10. It is a bad game. In my opinion though, I think it is a better successor than The Streets 1 and 2, and even Fight Club if it didn't go for the pay to win route and was still open. I hope y'all enjoyed this interview and comment down below on your opinions on this game and what you think I did right with the interview and what I think I did wrong with the interview. Uh, thanks for watching if you made it this far.